All right. We are so excited here today. We have such a real treat here on Rob is a podcast. Uh, joining Jenny and I is from season one of uh, Claim to Fame, one of our absolute favorites who made season one so much fun. Amara Scott is here. Amara, how are you? Hey, y'all. What's going on? I'm good. Happy to be here. Talk to yes. you friends. We are, yeah. we're so excited uh, to have you here to uh, talk about claim to fame and everything uh, that's going on. Uh, Amara, can you just uh, give us the uh, catch up on uh, what you've been up to since season one of claim to fame? So I've been traveling a lot with family. Um, I've been doing a lot more art shows, hosting some events and stuff. I'm a painter on the side. A lot of people don't know that, but uh, cool. yeah, I've a lot of gigs. Yeah. Stuff like that, yeah. So I'm just busy, just putting my face out there. <laughs> yes. Uh, and of so course, I was go I was gonna say, you're if you're an artist, were you ever doodling in your book? <laughs> like I the journals are for so, doodling, apparently. <laughs> okay, so I was the one in the house that brought all the coloring books, and like, so if you ever saw a moment when we were coloring and doodling, oh. I was the one who brought all of that to the house. So that's so smart. Had a, then yeah, if you see my book, I wish I was. I'm not in my house right now. It's getting deep cleaned. But if I had my book, I would show you what it looked like. It has a whole bunch of doodles. It's graffitied all over. A lot of drawings. Yeah. <laughs> um, of course, we all know Amara is the granddaughter of the great AVN award-winning actress, Whoopi <laughs> Goldberg. Right. We love her work. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> um, how did you come up with that that was going to be the story that you were going to go with? Okay. So my boyfriend and her actually were the ones that coincided in coming up with that idea. The hard part about me trying to figure out what my lie was, was she literally is an EGOT. So she had every single award. So oh, like, how do you pick which one? Yeah. yeah. Right, I mean, if, so if I pick one, it's either, you know what I mean? So I... I just picked something she didn't have, so. Yeah. And you definitely don't want to <laughs> yes, say EGOT, right. like, as a truth, either. Right. Like, that's, yeah. that's making it too easy. It was, if I picked a Tony, if I picked a Grammy, she has one. So it was kind of like, you know, let's go out the box, think of something that I could throw people off with. For sure. <laughs> so, Amara, what's the uh, Claim to Fame Season 1 group chat like these days? Are you all watching <laughs> Season 2? Well, honestly, our group chat just got bigger because we have season two in our group chat. Oh, now. okay. <laughs> so there's like alumni 20 now. of us. And when I tell you, like, it's literally, it's going off as we speak. I've I've had to mute it because it's <laughs> overwhelming. But it's so lively and it's fun. I can't even, I can't lie. I, like, it's, it's, I feel like I almost get FOMO if I'm not checking them. And then if I don't check them enough, I'm like 600 messages deep. So. I think if you go through that experience, like, like especially with your cast, like you, <laughs> that is developing a closeness. Um, like, have you had an opportunity to like hang out with a lot of them? I mean, obviously you're all from like different parts of the states right. and stuff, but so um, you know, we I hang out with Dominique the most, which was I'm, I'm probably a shocker to everyone, just the way that our season kind of played out, you know. But uh, I'm I see Dominique damn near every week like once oh a that's week. amazing yeah she's at where we, yeah we hang out <laughs> that's my girl everybody else is kind of harder to I've, I've hung out with a uh, cub no one you know cub oh, yeah. quiet michael my, oh yeah yeah michael. <laughs> his real name is cub so yeah. Yeah. i hang out with i've hung out with cub i've been i've hang i've hung out with um so okay Kai, you guys know her as mm -hmm. Kai. Yeah. yeah, her real name is Jasmine. So, like, you know, I hang out with them. When I'm in L.A., I'm by Colsa. So when I'm in L.A., I try to link with everybody the best I can. But I'm definitely with Dominique a lot. <laughs> so are the, the season two people, like, integrating well as well, like, in the in the group chat? They're, yeah, they, they've gotten it going. Like, when I tell you people that were asleep in our group chat like for a little bit, they are very lively and, I guess, claim to fame, too. 
Yeah. Great. Well, that's what happens. <laughs> that the new season comes out and then everybody uh, is like, uh, get, oh, remember when this happened? And so you get uh, right. back to talking with your, with, with your own cast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So there's been some really big moments here in season two. And of course, like we had in the beginning of the season when Carly went home. But uh, Amara, did you start the big exits from Claim to Fame? I guess so. I guess I guess I got the first the first one. So I guess it's it's gonna be who who did it best. It's always gonna be a comparison. So yeah, I guess in a sense I did start the exit. Mm-hmm. Famously, yeah, recently- <laughs> we outside gang gang. Yes. <laughs> We're outside. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I recently saw saw when Whoopi was talking about it on on the View, and like the the contrast and comparison of right. Carly's exit, and then they showed yours, and then there was like no volume for it because <laughs> Whoopi's like she's cussing. Yeah, <laughs> can't oh, yeah, play. Yeah, it's daytime I, TV. I, I went, I went for it. You know, like whatever <laughs> was in my heart, I I let it, I let it out. Because I, you know, also I was there for six episodes, so I felt like what happened to me and what I was doing, kind of like, you know, I was upset, and I felt like I was blindsided at the same time. So it was kind of, I had a lot to hold. I had a lot to hold, especially with all the work that I was doing in that house. I, yeah, I was, I was very upset. You know, she had one day in, so I can see why she's over there saying, "Gosh, garly, darn it," you know, like. <laughs> She needed she more screen more, time. Yeah, I wanted more screen yeah, she time. Needed, she needed more screen time. <laughs> Maybe a cuss word would have helped. <laughs> yeah. um, so we've always speculated with those, um, you know, vote uh, offs or the guess offs um, that you know everybody has like their glass. We wonder, like, are, are do people get like like pretty sauced during the uh, like lead up to the guess off? Because we can't see through those glasses. They're they're oh, opaque for a reason, I think. The glass, the glass was the reason why I probably had my outbursts also. <laughs> yeah. I'll say that because it was a buildup of, you know what, I have this. You know, it's also when you know that you're going home, you can feel it. You can just feel the, no one wants to talk to you. No one wants to, you know, so it's kind of like, I just, you know what, let me get a little saucy um, and... It helps with the nerves. <laughs> yeah, it helps with nerves. But yeah, we definitely, I can say for our season, we didn't have the the open bar. Like we had an open bar, but it wasn't like, here, get drunk, here, get drunk. They weren't like feeding us liquor. You know, it was kind of, very, it was very sophisticated. I can say that. We did have moments, yourself. <laughs> yeah, we had moments where people did. We had to, our elimination moment, I'm not going to say who, um, but we did have an elimination moment and it would happen to be their birthday and they got really, really drunk. And during elimination, we had to stop three times so they can vomit. Oh my so God. After that, we got put on punishment. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so yeah, so then after that, we weren't able to free pour. We had to... Um, ask like hey can i can i please sir can i have a cup <laughs> <laughs> and it would it'd pour us a cup <laughs> so yeah so we we definitely got put on punishment for a little bit and then i guess we weren't as fun when we were sober so then it was like you know it when every illumination just give them give them liquor yeah. yeah. Well, a you're getting bit. punished for someone who then was already gone. So it's like, well, now, <laughs> right. now what are you doing? <laughs> like the person that overserved themselves is actually eliminated. So why yeah. are we being punished? Actually, they weren't. They were there. Oh, oh. I thought you were saying they, they, they got were eliminated. there. Someone else. Right. They were. You could tell it was Pepper, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. But right. somebody else was going through elimination. This person happened to be someone on the side who was just chilling and couldn't hold it. In. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> I need to go back and rewatch now. <laughs> right. You, but if you can, if you can, t- you can kind of tell. Like, I'll who, let you know if I figure it out. <laughs> my most of my 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 interviews. I'm not gonna lie. I was probably drunk interviewing, and I regret it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, this is like our own version of claim to fame. Is there a clue wall where we can get some clues to figure out who, who the drunk the, person was? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. I'm even scared to give clues because I don't even know if they want people to know <laughs> what was going on. Okay. I can say that 
it was somebody that definitely lasted a decent amount of time. Okay. All right. Noted. So, all right. You mentioned how <laughs> yeah, right. you punished for uh, too much alcohol, but we saw in the very first episode of your season, somebody else got punished when Maxwell brought the phone into the claim to fame house. Right, how right. big of a deal was that for all of you to find that out? Um, well, the thing was, which they didn't show was we, you know, we were hanging out with Max and we were like, where's Max? Where's Max? Where's Max? And I would hang out with Max. And he was like, oh, you know, I was just talking to my mom and, you know, checking on my mom or whatever. And, you know, they have like an emergency phone. So I just, you know, we all just assumed that, you know, maybe he had to go get on the emergency phone, call his mom, make sure everything was good or whatever that he was going through. And, um, yeah. So like two days later <laughs> when we had our elimination, it was like, yeah, he has a cell phone. And we were like, what? This guy, this, so he wasn't on an emergency phone. He literally was on a phone phone. So we were just kind of like, wow. I mean, it was crazy just because it's like, it's so simple. Once you get somebody's name or like a little bit of a picture, I don't know. Like he, we were, you know, a little, what is the word? Uh, I don't know. But we, we were definitely like, damn, Max, I can't believe you did that. <laughs> did no one tell him he wasn't supposed to have one? <laughs> oh, He's probably they, like, aren't you guys talking to your family? They searched our stuff. <laughs> they like, yeah. had someone come and search our stuff so we didn't have phones or drugs and stuff because it was pretty much a dry house. How did he get the yeah. phone in? Was that he, he I have smuggled no it in, in rectal yeah. cavity? <laughs> I, I wanted to i never asked i never asked i i don't think that that was that i i just feel like so what kind of phone was it that might depend phone. yeah that part too we don't know yeah. we, i never like asked. a little nokia like <laughs> flip phone like or, a, or, I, I, I tell you, a smartphone I so i don't know <laughs> I, i'm gonna actually ask now <laughs> yeah. yeah i want the model i want the right? make <laughs> what is this did it take pictures because yeah know, Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> he's taking selfies in like the claim to fame like mansion. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my god! When I tell you that was just a shocker to all of us, it was. Pepper okay. got left that night too. <laughs> yeah, great, great for Pepper. <laughs> Amazing yeah, for Pepper. She, she got saved. <laughs> True. So, Amar, we don't know a lot about uh, what happens when you leave because it was a big surprise to all of us that, okay, you, there was uh, some sort of like a claim to fame second house that you all went to during the remainder of the game. Could you tell us a little bit about that and like what were the vibes like there? Was everybody getting along then once you were out of the game? There was no second. Okay, well, the thing was we were still separated. So when we got oh, we okay. weren't in a house, we went to a hotel. Got it. So we had rooms and we were separated until the end because they wanted to keep the um the surprise, you know, like who got kicked out, you know, like who got like just even in the order. So we we they kept us pretty secluded until we came back for the last episode when we were all reunioned. Yeah. Did they tell you that they were going to that you were eventually going to come back for the finale, like the finale episode, or were they just telling you that you were just being sequestered till the end of the show? Uh, no, 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 we didn't okay. know until it happened either. So yes, and so we knew that we were sequestered until the end of the sh like we were, we were sequestered until the last day or last shooting when we knew that we were all going to be back together. So it kind of sucked for the first person that had to get eliminated. They're sequestered. <laughs> They're sequestered for about three weeks in a hotel room. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, then when you got to the see everybody, were you surprised with who the final three were? I was not, actually. I wasn't. I wasn't because I was around for, I knew what was brewing still. You know, mm -hmm. like I knew what was brewing when I left. You know, I was only sequestered for two days like movie magic or TV mm -hmm. magic, I should say. But yeah, but, uh, no, I knew what was going on. So it didn't surprise me at all. <laughs> Logan, Pepper, Elsie. Yeah. And then sense. <laughs> can you talk a little bit about just like the schedule? So you said it was only two days. So basically like uh, it's each episode that we, is that like one day? 
Uh, you know what? I want to. So yeah. So I was. I, I explain it like this. Like it's at least twenty four to forty eight hours. Um, maybe seventy. You know, but it's like two to three days of filming. I'll put into one hour. Yeah. So, I mean. <laughs> we know how it goes. Yeah. Right. Right. So you, yeah, you already know. Yeah. So it's yeah. just, just kind of like they're. I, you know, like as long as we know. And then the thing was, they kept changing like eliminations. Like we were trying to figure out, like, oh, right, every two days, like we know it's going to be a limit. But they, instead of us catching on to that, they would switch it up. So it was hard to kind of keep, keep up. Keep you on your toes. Yeah. Would, so would, like they, <laughs> would it always be on the same day as the challenge or were they separate days sometimes? Like the guess off would not be on the same day as the challenge because they always make it look like it's like the evening after the challenge. Right. You know, some, I want to say, like, maybe one or two was like that. But, like, yeah. for the most part, we got to do a challenge and then we got to, like, sleep on it. Mm -hmm. It gives a lot of time to, like, for people to talk and, and, and right. strategize. That's what, so. and I think that that's what they wanted because it's, like, yeah. when, you know, the way that they did their eliminations, it's, it's, like, in a sense, there's two people that are at the bottom. Then they're, like tripping out because no one wants to have to go up and pick somebody. But then at the same time, everybody in the house is basically at risk. So there's so much scramble to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, I think we like if we had to like go home and like just eliminate, we wouldn't be able to put stuff together in a quick enough, you know, fashion or formulate yeah. it properly, you know. Okay, Amara, so this right. week we had a really <laughs> dramatic moment that happened where uh, it was Cole and Hugo that uh, were in the bottom two, and mm -hmm. then it looked like Cole was going to be sent to the slaughter uh, to go and uh, guess the wrong NASCAR driver, but instead he turned it around on Shane uh, and guessed <laughs> that Shane's dad is Eddie Murphy. So what did you think of all that? My mouth hit the floor, I'm not gonna lie, because I, you know, it seemed like they were like buddy, buddy, like it was everything was cool. I'm telling you, that blind side that it hurts so bad and it sucks, but yeah, like, uh, he, I'm not gonna lie, it was almost a good play because you can take you kind of what he did was kind of even the playing ground. Mm -hmm. You know, because every, if everyone knows who this person is and you take them out, then it's kind of it makes it more harder for everyone else. Um, but uh, I definitely was so shocked. I'm not going to lie, because the way you would have saw it, you would have thought that they were like boot up. Like, you know, like this is my best friend, like bestie, bestie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, whew, that, that do was think, crazy. <laughs> do you think, though, that it was maybe... Like, I mean, without Cole knowing that he potentially was going to be guessing the wrong person if he if he had chosen Carson, um, do you think that it was maybe a bad move for him where he, you know, is for sure sending a, a potential ally out, out the house and also putting himself in a bad position with other people working with Shane, uh, you know, all just to go for the sure shot? Um Without the knowledge that we have mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, Carson is saying that Jeff Gordon is is the wrong the wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Like, do you think that that was maybe a bad move for him and that he should have, with the information he had, gone for gone for Carson instead and, uh, you mm -hmm. know, saved Shane? So I I mean, at the end of the day, like we all have these alliances and no matter what, you still gotta play for yourself and if you're not for sh like the, the thing about the elimination is like if you go up and say the wrong person you're going home you know yeah. like and who wants to go home so you gotta play it for yourself so if he was if she if carson goes to him and tells him oh yeah well you got the wrong person you got the wrong person you know it's gonna ruffle some feathers like you don't want to go into an elimination like 50 percent like i it could be, maybe not, or, you know, and then for him, it's just kind of like you guarantee know this, whether you got to ruffle some feathers, you got to go back to the house. So you're either, you got to sleep with this. So it's, you know, I, I think he did a good job. I'm not going to lie. Like oh, I, savage. I didn't know he had it in him. <laughs> I, in it, I didn't, girl, I did not think he had it either. That was like, yeah, that took balls. Yeah. I thought he was gone. I was like, 
sorry, I, Cole, we, we barely knew you. <laughs> I, so I, it's like, I like to watch it, you know, how history repeats itself. Like, it, it, like imagine if we would have did that to, to, to Adria or Luis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Imagine if we would have took her out. What what could have transpired? Because we kept her in because everybody wanted the for sure, the for sure, the for sure at the end. You know, and she also kept winning. Oh, she there was a few like it was times where she was yeah, just abused. That. Yeah. I <laughs> needed that part. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. But that and easily could have just happened with Shane too, right? Like that that maybe that's what people are thinking too. It's like, well, she was safe last week and right. you know, who know like who knows how many more times it happened. Week, but she also showed her hand or the way that they, you know, edited the yeah. they she showed her hand and you know, if you got someone to shoot their own foot and you're like, yeah, that was me. I did that. Like people are going to be like, "Hmm. Got to watch that." You know, it's it, I think yeah. she kind of put that out there on her own. I but agree. I, I thought, I thought, I, I thought that, uh, you know, <laughs> basically admitting that they misled, uh, like her and Monet misled Jane or like, you know, pushed her in that direction mm-hmm. probably didn't. I mean, people were already going to target Shane and, and, you know, with the one person that everyone pretty much knew in the house, she, she already had a target, but I, I do yeah. wish that she had maybe uh, kept that part back. So it right. doesn't help your case, right? Right. That part. Yeah. Just a little more like, you know, keep it clean, you know, secret agent more so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amara, do you feel like that did Elsie and Logan do a better job last season of keeping their alliance together a secret than uh, we've seen with some of the people that are pairs this season? Yeah, so far, yes. Um, I didn't, like I said, because I was there for a longer amount of time. We're only, what, episode three or four? Four, four just happened, four, yeah. Episode yeah. four. So it's like... Uh, we, you know, you, once people start dwindling, mm-hmm. it, you can't hide anymore. So, you know, Lark was in the room with what Dominique, Elsie, and I can't remember. There was someone, I think it was just them three. Um, and I would have thought that they were so close, even with Lark. And then the way that it wasn't, you know, Lark wasn't as close in that. Thing and then it, I was just it's 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 like a spider web. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's it's just ridiculous. Like it's so it goes so many different ways. But I definitely feel like the way that they were able to keep it on the low, they definitely they did a good job because they worked so good together. Even like when we were all in a group, we knew that they were doing stuff, but they were so good at like being tight about it, tight lipped. Well, I also feel like because, you know, it's a small enough group and there's probably quite a bit of downtime. Like you said, if it's like two to three days Mm -hmm. um, in a cycle, you know, there's only so much of that that is like the, you know, like the challenge and like the guess off and stuff. Like you have to think that everyone is everyone is hanging out and talking to each other. Like you guys are all obviously very close. Um, So it probably makes it pretty hard to like know you know, who's just talking and hanging out and who's actually like sharing information and working together. Um, I feel Mm -hmm. like in this season, we're getting told like what the groups are and like, you know, who is working with who. So um, maybe it is a little bit more divided than your season because I do feel like everyone was kind of talking and hanging out on on your season. Um, Right. That yeah, that part. I think another part of our season was we were like because we were num- first. We didn't know what to expect. I don't even think that the producers, the people that put, they didn't know what to expect either. Right. Yeah. So you know, and then also like we don't want to. We have these celebrity relatives, and we don't want to look stupid or make them look stupid, or you know, we got that on top of us. So it's not like we were trying to like rip each other's throats out. We're trying to be cordial, like oh yeah, hey. Um, you know, like we were really trying to, I don't like, I guess, walk tiptoe around it in mm-hmm. a sense where they're kind of after seeing the first season. Now they're like, all right, this is what we're doing. We're going for the juggler. And this is, you know, like it's it's more played out. So I feel like as more seasons happen, it's only going to get more and more crazier. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so. We've seen Chris uh, really out here gaming uh, very hard. What do you think of that approach to claim to fame? Is that the way that people should be approaching it? Or should people be more laid back and just try to get closer to the end? Oh, my gosh. Who's Chris? 
<laughs> that, to he Chris, was immune. Yeah, he, that, uh, that Jane guessed he was Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. Oh yeah. my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's not very <laughs> active in the group chat. I'm guessing. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. When I tell you, okay. I'm active, but there's so many names, but you know how everyone goes in, oh, my name is this, but it's not their name. Yeah. It's this, like, I have him under a completely different person. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. So that's why I was like, either. oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, Chris, Not Elvis Presley's relative. <laughs> not Elvis Presley's relative. So, um, I think your question was, is he doing a good job of holding his, his, yeah. His do you story? like that he's playing so aggressively or do you feel like that you're better off of just like sort of not being so much like foot on the gas, uh, throughout the game? I think, I mean, like I said, everyone, I, I think it's also a personality game too. Cause people are picking up, like right. people don't want to feel too like, like, oh my God, he's just like, I can't be a, like some people want a break. I just need to talk to you. I just need to tell you something. And it can't, you know, some people, it could be overwhelming. It could be underwhelming, you know, but um, I think he's playing a, a, a good game, a decent game. I don't, I wouldn't want to be too much in the limelight. I'd rather kind of coast and just be the the homie the whole time because mm -hmm. i get more information that way and i'm you know it's easier to be cool and act like you don't care about stuff where it is like oh my god okay yeah so i just talked to such and such and you know now i gotta go you know i, I right it's like i said it, if it's that's his personality to kind of just do that then that's you know that's what works for him but i mean you know i would chill out <laughs> What was your take on on how he handled um, Carson coming to him and basically saying like they are, they think it's Jeff Gordon and they're wrong, um, and then him basically immediately like turning around and, and sharing all of that information? Like, do you think that he still has Carson's best interest at heart here, and that this was like kind of also uh, a play to keep her safe, um, or or do you think that he's like ready to sell her out just just as much? Oof. I feel like uh, to, for me, I, I, I couldn't even tell you. To be honest, I don't think yeah. that – I think he's playing for himself. Right. Um, he's going to – I think that he'll utilize that and play it to his advantage. But at the same time, he can still buddy up with her and get close to her and get inf the information that he needs to figure it out on his own so he can keep that in his back pocket. What I like about this season is, like you said, a lot of people are more secretive about it. But the thing is, those the the clues, those clues, these clues this year, oh my god! Like what? I could have sworn like ours were so much easier to read and like figure out. But Look, these ones are which like, clues? Great. The clues that are in the wine bottle or the clues the wine on the clue bottle? Wall? Yeah. The, yes. No, the the clue. I think their clue wall is easier this year. I That's what I wanted to know. Wall I easier. The clue. I thought your clue wall was better. And yes, like it was, it was harder to read because it's all the same color. This one, oh, yeah. I think, is. But you think that the wine bottle clues are harder? I think the wine bottle clues are harder this this season. This the board they didn't really care about the board this year, but uh, <laughs> but, but they do care about the clues. So. Yeah. Well, Mara, something that we noticed, and maybe this is different between season two and season one, it seems like that the clue wall is being updated. Like, we'll do, like, screenshots from episode to episode, and, you know, stuff is being moved around. And I don't know if maybe yeah. that this one, people can take stuff off and, like, look at it, and maybe it's it not getting put back. It does look like a pegboard. Like, it does look like spot. things are just, like, yeah. clamped on or something. So maybe they and are And new things it. are getting added. I never noticed that new things were getting added, but I could tell you when, on our board stuff would started breaking so oh. <laughs> stuff start you know just kind of you know i i don't know if that could be Were people case. breaking it or is it just naturally no, happening? no 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 it just would like like whatever glue or whatever they however they made it it just fell off, fell off. yeah so i don't know if that is the case if they that's are manipulating the board i think that's super dope i didn't notice Mm -hmm. uh, is that a strategy that, break that your clue you know yeah, what the clue is like, for you and you're like i'm just gonna be off of here yeah, yeah, right? a little rough nobody needs it. to see it <laughs> oh my god you know if I, oh my I, you know i never even thought about it like to add stuff to the board to oh put fit, you want to glue yeah. stuff onto the board 
Right? Well, you could or do that this like season, little, for like, sure. Put some gum and tack it on. Put a toothbrush right? on there or something. <laughs> yeah, right? that's smart. I never thought about that. I didn't even think Emergent about strategy. anyone. Like, or I didn't even think about that. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you about the hosts of the show, uh, Kevin and Franklin. Uh, did yes. you have a favorite Jonas brother? <laughs> Of and course. was it either of them? <laughs> Everybody knows who the favorite was. It's Franklin. He's yeah, yes. that's the right answer. In this house, we Lovely. stand. We stand. I, Franklin. I mean, Jones. they're both great. Don't get me wrong; they're both great. I love them both. But Franklin definitely has the the bubbly vibe. You know, I think. Yeah, and I think he loved like you. His joy and like enjoyment of this show and and doing it is just so obvious and i think that that's what makes him such a like fun host and so probably for you guys like to see someone that is like genuinely having a fun time at being a part of it probably helps a ton <laughs> sorry what happened amara <laughs> um my boyfriend just brought me some food because i'm hungry yeah but i got, like this drink it's supposed to be a mango mango thing with the tahine and stuff yeah oh it's disgusting oh. oh no is it is it a michelada here let me see it okay because i mango, no, normally mango. love those let me not put them on blast with the okay oh yeah here let's oh, see here, let's, Wait, here. Yeah. So what do you, let's see what do you got is it a slushy yeah it's okay so it's mango with the 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 and know, so the tahine the is at the bottom the, yeah it has chamoy in it the tahine oh my but, goodness um, I don't even you know got what space, that is. It's spiced straight to the throat. Right. It went straight to the back of my neck. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Made I you talk so right when you did I'm that. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> and then I was like, mm, oh, no, no. <laughs> so yeah. then are, is Franklin in the group chat with you all? No, he's not. He's not. <laughs> you guys need a separate uh, <laughs> chat with, with, uh, with Kevin and Franklin. We tried it. We tried it. I think they're, they're big, big time. <laughs> yeah. They got, big, they got a lot going on. <laughs> yeah. Albums, yeah. you know, shows. Come on. Yeah. Aren't they touring? Like the, the Jonas Brothers are touring right now. I, I yeah, I like. believe so. All of them. Like <laughs> even yeah. Franklin this year. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Amara, <laughs> what do you think about the uh, messages from home that we've been seeing? Oh, yeah. uh, that did they did they give you all the opportunity to do that, or is that a season two invention? No, I'm jealous. Like I wish I could have had a message. <laughs> Whoop, Whoopi would have killed it. She, yeah, she would have oh, been no. really good. Oh yeah, she definitely would have did good. It would have probably would have matched my 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 swag. I'm sure it would have. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, we didn't get that. I wish we did. I think that's so cool. I'm kind of jealous. Yeah. We're trying to figure out why why uh, Tom Hanks left us hanging because we've gotten everyone since him. <laughs> oh my god, I, I haven't even seen the feedback. Has he said anything about the exit yet? I, Tom Hanks has not, I believe, uh, commented on it. But he's the only person that didn't make a video. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't even tell you why. Maybe, Maybe they uh, he is a very busy man, I guess. Yeah. But I mean, it's like a five-second video. Tom, where are you? Mm. Ooh, <laughs> that's a question for Carly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll look him up on Cameo. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Yeah, they could have yeah. just booked him, right? <laughs> right. Like Twenty dollars, hundred, couple hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Amara, have you seen any other things in this season that you feel like uh, that the game has changed since you played in season one? Um, have I like like new games? Are you? Asking? I mean, like uh, in terms of like uh, the way that the strategy has been changing, in the way that people like to have built on what you all did in season one. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like they, like I said. Um, I think after seeing the season one and seeing how simple and nonchalant and how friendly we were playing, I think that they realized that it's a game and, you know, you got to be smart and you got to kind of start working. You got to work that brain. I think a lot of people are taking it more serious and they're moving quicker than, than we were. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, you know, you guys – set the standard because i think that like you said i don't think the show even knew what to expect from how things went and you know 
with us watching the show for the first time, not knowing what to expect, I think that everyone was really surprised by how, you know, strategic um, and what gamers you all were. So you guys have kind of set the standard for for season two. And like you said, now that they've seen you guys, like they're kind of taking it up a notch. Um, so I think it's, you know, very impressive what you guys started as like the legacy of Claim to Fame in terms right. of being way more strategic than I think that even the show is anticipating. Yeah, I, I like that we got to build, we got to be the first. So no matter what, you got to see us before you see the other ones. The pioneer. Or, yeah, you got to see the pioneer and see how it, it's it's evolving and it's going to consistently evolve. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, who knows what new stuff they'll have for next season. If, if You know, like, I, I would I'm for them to put a mole in the show. Like, Ooh. like what do you mean a mole? Somebody who's not related to anybody? Someone that's related no to the to the brothers. Oh, oh a, a secret a Jonas? Jonas? Yeah, like like, a but you know they have Jonas? cousins and aunts and you know yes. it's not just brothers. They have sisters too. Yes, and then what? And which Jonas <laughs> would you say you're related to? Uh, if you were gonna call them out, you just guess any of them. It's like the. <laughs> Well, that would the, well that would be the thing. It would be a mole, so I wouldn't know how they would play it. But I think it would be dope to kind of. There you should know. be like some twists for it because I, mm -hmm. while I think that this structure can be re replayed like a few mm -hmm. times, um, especially as long as there are you know people that are as awesome on TV and like great players like you and like a lot of the people on this season, mm -hmm. um, they can redo this a few times. But I would love to see a little twisty twist in like a future season. Right. So, sure. so right. if if. If the producers are listening, maybe consider. Right. The mole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Amara, we thought that you were so much fun on uh, Claim to Fame last season. We said we would watch you on any reality show that yes. you ever wanted to do. Would you show up for any other reality shows? Would it be yes. the challenge, traders? Yes. What I do you want to do? I want to do the challenge so bad. I want to do Amazing Race. Who would okay. you do it with? Would you do it with your boyfriend or would you do like if you had to do it from someone with someone it, from Claim to Fame? I would do it with my boyfriend because we're actually like we're such a great, you know, like it, it balance. We, we mesh. Yeah, the balance yeah. is too on point. Like it's too great. And I want to do Big Brother. Okay. All right. Big Brother. But the challenge, I would I'm here to get fit and I want to. Yeah. yeah. So we got to figure out like the corporate synergy. Okay. So you're, you're on ABC. I feel like that, that's a little bit out of the ecosystem. What about, uh, I guess you're not going to go on bachelor in paradise. I'm trying to think of no. uh, what, what shows, uh, can but, we grab people for? What Rob, about stars on Mars? Could we yeah. send you, could would you go to Mars? That's Fox, Rob. Yeah. But look, uh, they, they had people from the bachelor. Well, that's what oh, I'm saying yeah. is like it kind of there's crossover happening anyway crossover right now because there's people that are on Big Brother that in Survivor that did the challenge. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know, so. so I don't think it's out of the question. I think maybe the challenge needs to start considering the ABC reality sphere. Yeah, come on, we're real people. Come on, I can challenge me up. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, you'd be so good. It would be so. I would. I think I would, would be great, and I'm pretty sportsy, so like I'm sporty as fuck. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. I love it. Um. Jenny, anything else for Amara? Oh my goodness. Um, I think I think that, yeah, I really wanted to know how you're feeling about the clues because I there are times that I felt like um, you know, things are a lot easier this season. Um, but to, for you to say that the the wine bottle clues are seem actually harder. Um, the one thing I did actually want to ask your opinion on. So mm -hmm. so you were one of the um people that last season we found out who you were related to in the premiere um of the of the show so this season the the you know what they're doing is they're not telling us we're essentially finding out as as uh you know the contestants mm -hmm. are how do you feel about that do you like do you wish that they had done that for you guys or do you think it's like doesn't really matter i actually wish that they did that for us to be honest I really, I really, I don't know why, you know, I already knew in a sense, this is a game of like mystery and the, the people that are watching, they want to play too. Mm -hmm. They want to yeah. figure right. it out. I feel like by us, we ruined all of the surprises for the, the people watching. Yeah. So I feel like this season is easier to get into, you know, it's more, oh my more God, engaging, gotta, find yeah. out, gotta find out. 
and you they, they no, gave you away in the first episode um yeah. but yeah. i also feel like it was also like oh okay whoopi goldberg's grand okay all yeah. right we got yeah, it like a really big yeah, deal <laughs> yeah i think that's the that's the problem is like yeah. you, you know because you were tied to su such a big name that they obviously when the show is starting they want they want to be able to to share that um but i can see from your perspective where it's like imagine if you got to watch you know everyone following the show try to figure out who you were instead of watching the entire thing already being aware and like thinking of right. you constantly through the lens of Whoopi. um because i think it's really fun when you finally figure it out with someone you're like and then you start right. seeing everything you get to know my personality before putting that person you know attaching that person to me exactly I, you know? yeah so. yeah no I, I hope that they do that for for any you know if we're if we're so lucky to get a season three and beyond um right. you know I mean things are kind of being revealed to us like even though they didn't we didn't even ever, I think, get a confessional from Shane saying, yes, I am Eddie Murphy's daughter. But like the show essentially was like hinting, like everyone's figured out that she's Eddie Murphy's daughter. But right. it wasn't like with last season where you would literally have you guys saying, this is who I'm related to before it was revealed. That part, that part. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Amara, what else are you working on uh, that people can check out? Um, well, right now I'm actually about to play in a celebrity softball game. Okay. So, um, yeah, we, we're doing, I think it's celebrities versus NYPD. So we'll be in the city, New York city. Playing. Cool. So that's okay. what I got going. And then next, next month I'm doing a flag football. Okay. Um, was it you softball have, for peace? Is that what it was? It's a balling, balling for peace. That's oh, balling for peace. Okay, yeah, that's the name of the the the, the company. Yeah. Okay. Um. Of course, uh, you have one of the best Instagram handles around. Your <laughs> skeezy does it, uh, yes. which is amazing. Okay. Uh, can't wait to see it on Threads. Also. <laughs> oh yeah. Is that a thing? Do I need to get onto oh, it? Oh yeah. We're yeah, there. We're there, Amara. <laughs> oh, I was trying to avoid it. I suck at social media and that's just one more overwhelming thing I have to be a part of. Like, but you okay. you basically don't have to make a new account because yeah. if you have an Instagram, it's just kind of like an extension of your Instagram. Yeah. So <laughs> um yeah, so a lot of people are on it. I think Maxwell actually got on in the house when he was with you guys. <laughs> he was oh, on the my, ground floor. He was one of the beta testers. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that was hilarious! <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was uh, hilarious. All right. Well, uh, Omar, thank you so much for joining us. We have weekly claim to fame coverage uh, after all of the episodes. You could follow us at robisawebsite dot com slash fame feed to get everything we're doing on claim to fame. Omar, I, I would love it if you could take us out with giving us a classic closing. Uh, just, uh, like, uh, t t that, you know, take us out of Mara style. All right. Well, you know, it's me. Skeezy does it. Amara. What up? We're about to end this show on claim to fame. You already know we're about to be outside. I love you, granny. We outside. Rob, it's been a pleasure. You know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gang, gang. Okay. Gang, 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 amazing. Outside. Yeah. All right. And, and Jenny, where can people keep up with you? You can find me on social media at Jenny Autumn covering Claim to Fame, Stars on Mars, and all of that other stuff. Um, thank you again, Amara. This is like so yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fun. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.